Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. So we are gonna work with Christmas scraps and see if we can't make a variety of ephemera. Just kind of do a random ephemera making video. So let's say hi and hugs first to Julie, Coco, Diana, and Laura. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay. Let's see what we have. I don't even know. So, oh, I want to show you this first. This was from yesterday. This is that little bank envelope. So I turned it into a little pocket flip thing. So it's a pop pocket on this side, all decorated up. And then this side, it flips over and you can put something in there. And um, yeah, so it's just a little piece. Maybe we need to make a piece for in there. We'll have to see. So let's just kind of see what we've got to work with here. I'm, I, I have no idea, to be honest, what's even in here. Okay, I just hit my, hit my camera, so we'll get you straight. Okay, so just uh, every random bit you can think of in here. Okay. Lots, lots of bits, lots of bits here. Okay, just kind of getting a feel for what's in here. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then this, I think, is more collage. Yeah, it's thinner paper, it's more collage. Okay. And then I showed you this yesterday. I have this piece of junk mail that I've started collaging on to make master boards cut up into um, tags and journal cards and whatever. So we might do a page in there too, who knows. But first, let's start with this stuff. Um, I kind of wanted to grab some bigger pieces and maybe make some big like page pockets like like look at this page this is like it's about seven and a quarter that way Ooh, hello big words I like the side better so if we cut that at about I'm going to say about four and three quarters ish. Right here. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this into a couple of pieces. Yeah. So just going to, just going to make some stuff out of these since we've already got scraps left from prior years. As you know, the scraps never end. Do a couple of these. Then this could be a good tag. Oh, look, it says Merry Christmas on this side. I cut it right at the Merry Christmas. That's interesting. Okay, and then what else do we have that's big like that? I mean, I have this. This is a very big piece, though. I don't think I want that for what I'm doing here. Let's see. How about this one? It's a little bit taller, so it's seven and a half. That's okay. I'm going to do a couple of these, too. And we'll just make some big old cage cover and tight pockets. And then that makes a long tag for this one too. Okay, cool. Well, there's four of them. That's probably enough. Um, let's see what papers we have might coordinate that we could do 
pockets or something out of. Blech. No. I mean, that's not bad. But that's not very thick paper. Let's see what else we have in our scrappages here. Let's see. That could almost like just be a pocket on a pocket. I kind of like that idea, just just for something different. Let's see what else we have. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. This is beautiful blue fern. I think I'm gonna cut this in half. How big is this? Seven and three quarters. So. Three and a half, three and three quarters, and about a half. <laughs> That's what you call more or less eyeballing it. I don't know. That is, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just give it a, let's give it a pinch in the middle. I want to pretty much be right on the middle. So, we'll do it that way. And then I'm thinking this could be a couple of pockets on there. I think I like it better this way. Okay, so that's going to be that one. A couple pockets. What do we have to go with this very bright? That's boring. Can't do boring. Okay, let's see here. Some of these strips and things I need to get out of my way. Okay. Let's see. I don't mind that if we decorated that up a little bit. What do you think? as a pocket and then not put anything there but maybe a tag or something that might work let's see what else what else this that's pretty just checking to make sure i'm not missing something Oh, this is a great piece, but, but ew, no. Okay, that's good for now. I, there are so many scraps in there, I did not realize. So we'll just make one pocket on those. Okay, get rid of you for the moment. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I have a it's kind of a sore throat today. Hope it's hope it's nothing you know once you've been in an airplane and such you kind of start to get paranoid okay and these here you okay and that one this one I'm gonna go on the side of it. Okay, so we're going to take a bigger piece and then just make it into some. So what we're going to do. And since I know I have at least five, possibly more, journals to make, a little mass make of a few ephemera pieces is not a bad idea, I feel like. Okay, and so do I want... I think I do. Don't know. I don't think I have like a a green at the pink though, but um hang on one second. Uh
just kind of looking at my distress inks to see if I have something that's a darker green. I really only have old paper, I think. No, those are pretty neutral. Okay. Lucky Clover's not going to work. He got feathers. No. Okay. Doesn't look like I have what I'm thinking. So, that's okay. We'll just. Sorry, I digressed there for a second. Okay, so, vintage photo it is. <laughs> I've drawn all that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this guy, he's going to need to be decorated a little bit, but I don't mind kind of leaving these a bit plain and then looking at whatever papers I use for a certain journal, you know? Um and the ephemera pieces that it has. So I'm just gonna make these bases and maybe not decorate them until I decide what journal they're gonna go with. Okay, so there's that one. Let's put this down. Now I will put this down, I'll put this down on the page um, and depending, I'll either glue it here and have a top, top tuck here or glue it around here like I did this one and have it be a side tuck. We'll, we'll just see what we end up with, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit that with my scoogee thing. There we go. Okay, one, one done. All right, so then this one, we, um, I still think I want the corners rounded. I just like, it looks softer or something. I don't know. Now here, what do I want? I think I might just do the top corners on this one. Because then I won't lose any of the pattern. So, what else do I have to tell you about? I really don't even know. I drove with my daughter back and forth a bit from her house in Littleton to my other daughter, to that's Mary, to my other daughter, Joni, um, lives in Aurora, Colorado. So, drove back and forth a little bit to go get Bucky at his preschool and stuff. And it's fun for me to, you know, drive around a little bit and, you know, just see more of the sights. So I did that. Mike stayed home and hung out with the, whoever was home. So that was kind of, it's kind of fun to go. I want those like this ish and then this can go I mean I can use a bit a little bit taller tag so I think I'll do this one first I mean you know I feel like I make scraps like nobody's business but I also really enjoy using them to make things 
there. And then this one. And then depending on the um, digital we use and or the scrapbook paper we use, we can go ahead and use pieces <clears throat> of the ephemera from that to decorate the pockets and stuff. Okay, so there's another one. So these are literally just the bases. Okay, how about this one? And this one. Do I want to curve the curve? I, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it as is. This is this edge is torn, and I kind of like how that looks. So, yeah, I'm doing mega laundry from our trip and, <laughs> and from going to volleyball yesterday. Got to get some things done so we have something to wear for volleyball tomorrow. I do kind of think, gosh, my parents were lucky because we lived in the same town. <laughs> it's a little more difficult when your kids live away. I've told you that story, haven't I, that three of my four kids, Joni's always lived away ever since she got married, but um, the other three kids and their families lived here. And then in one year, they all moved away because, you know, job stuff and that stuff. I mean, totally understandable, but no less heartbreaking. <laughs> so we kind of think of that as we're driving all over the state. You know, if they just would have stayed where they were, we'd, we'd be able to drive down the street to go to their games. It's all good. Grown kids, they gotta do what they gotta do, don't they? That's why you raise them. Okay, so there's that one. Now this one, I think I wanna round him. Actually, I think I wanna round all four corners of him. Okay. Oops, didn't do this one. And then we'll just see kind of what else we've got going on here that we can play with. Ugh. Makes me happy though to get some ephemera done ahead of time. This will be a good one to decorate because it's going to really, really show up, you know. So I have an unfinished ephemera where, like, they're sewn around and everything. I don't know if I want to sew around these. Maybe. Um, but so I can grab from that and use the pieces. To theme them up, if you will, based on whatever I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to go right about there. Okay. All right, there is that. So we've got four of four of the like full page kind of pocket things. All all different configurations kind of. So that's a good stroke of business to start off with. Now, let's see what else we have in here. Um
looking at these are interesting. Those are more like to decorate with, I feel like. That one could be too. These little, little pictures could be. Can't tell what that is really. Okay. Kind of ruling out some stuff more than anything. Let's see, I wanted to make tags out of these. I was kind of wondering what I do with my page over here. I was kind of wondering, are these too long? A little bit. Kind of wrong color too. I mean that wouldn't be bad in there, but it's not the greatest. So I'm gonna make a little stack of these could be tags. Or these could be journal cards. I mean, that one could be a tag. That one could be a tag. Okay. And then we'll have just other random things. Hmm. <laughs> See, this is good tag shape. And this could take shape. That would be a cute journal card, actually. As with that, so journal cards. That is a cute tag, just as it is. Except it needs to be backed. I'm not. If I'm not feeling it, I'm. I'm not going to do it. This could be. That could be a good journal card. Oh, right there. Okay, this could be a little tag. Mm. Okay. That's a good tag. Ooh, that's a really good tag. Okay. What I thought is we could make bases for a little bit and then we could switch over to decorating maybe maybe that looks like a pocket already likes it's begging to be a pocket we'll put that in a pocket pile okay so that's that um keep that handy so I can see what would be a good tag in it. Like I said, if it's not calling to me, I'm setting it aside. But I'm thinking in my head of the things that I have to work with in terms of the um, the uh, papers and stuff. And if I don't think something's going to go with anything, I'm just going to kind of leave it here. These. Journal cards. Okay, now I'm just gonna pop this back in. I don't know. I don't really. On in some ways, I don't want to decorate today. I just want to use up a bunch of scraps. That's a cool piece of paper. Okay, I'm gonna have to shove all this back into my bag here, so it's not falling all over my desk. Ah. Oh, these long bands, they drive me crazy. As you can see, they don't want to go in. Okay. that fell on the floor. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I just cannot have all those scraps all over everything. It'll drive me crazy. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to put that back in this bag now. Okay, now let's make some let's make some bases and um, another day we'll decorate them. This I'm thinking be a little bit long so we'll just cut off some of it cut off a bit until it's like five and a quarter ish okay that's fun little strip for a uh, Cory Daman type collage okay and then this bottom is not straight so we'll just line it up on the little grid give it a chop and there we have a little pocket that can go on a page like so and be decorated in whatever manner Okay, so I'm not going to distress them all on camera here. I'm going to just, let's see, these two are the same size. I could kind of cut them at the same time. Is that how I want it? Yes. Okay. All right, and then these are tag shape. I may sew around all these too, just, you know, to give them that one little extra bit of texture. So there's those. See, these two are the same size. I think this one I just want to round the corners. Does that need to be... Kind of need these kind of need to be on some coffee dyed paper, I feel like, because they're just white on the back. Okay, we can do that. Just grabbing some under my desk here. All right, let's just pop those down on this first. Okay. Oops. I'm almost out of this glue stick. About to go to the next one. Ugh. Okay. Where'd my yellow thing go? disappeared. Oh well. I have another one over there I can use. Okay. Sorry. I'm talking amongst myself. <laughs> you, you guys aren't the only ones that talk amongst yourselves. I do too. Just talking amongst myself. little one. I probably put it in my <coughs> scrap. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I probably put it in my scrap thing. I betcha. I betcha that's where it's at. Okay. Well, that's good. Those little papers will just make just make fine tags. Don't know what they're 
from or anything because no doubt they're from last year. So who knows where they came from. Okay. For a quick minute, guys. Yep. There she is. There she is. <laughs> she was in my scraps. It would have taken me a while to figure out, probably. Okay, so. Let's just cut these. So I don't know what Mike has on his mind for tonight, but I kind of want to watch my granddaughter, the tournament that we missed while we were in Denver. There's four games out there. That could be a lovely evening, I think, but we'll see what he thinks. Okay, so there's that. Um, Like I say, I think I'll just use Maybe just the quarter inch and just nip those corners. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good, good. And this doesn't need a whole lot of decorating. Maybe if I want to sew around it and then inking, that's it. It's cute. I don't, gosh, I can't tell you what paper this is either. It's a six by six, I know that, but I'm not quite sure. It's cute paper though, isn't it? Okay, so those are ready. Now these, this one kind of goes like that. How tall is that? Eight inches. That could be cool on, you know, those little flip downs that I make as kind of a belly band type thing. I like the idea of that. So let's cut this and cut this. And I think I'm gonna put um, one of the Euro punch holes at the top. I do love Scrappy Saturday. It's just fun to do what, make whatever, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna put one of these here. Like that, cute. Okay, I don't know why I want the bottom of this slightly rounded. Okay, okay, that one's ready to sew around or whatever. Okay, these two are similar, so similarly, similar, similar, you know, they're kind of the same. <laughs> I, I don't know, my, my gift of language has completely left me. Okay, all right, so those could be long tags too. Let's go ahead and give them a one of these as well. All right, cool. Okay, tags are done. Let's look at these journal cards. Oh, these need to be backed. So there's that. Let's just do that real quick. Um, got some card stock here that we can use. Gosh, I'm working hard. I'm warm. It's been very nice here. I mean, at least since we've been home anyway. It was beautiful in Denver, too. Really nice. The one morning that we... I think it was, what time was his game? Nine o'clock or something? Um, 
my grandson Louie's football game. And um, my son-in-law, Nick, he put up chairs for us. And he, of course, gave me the best chair because that's the kind of guy he is. And um, the sun was shining on the back of it. And it felt like I had a heating pad on my lower back. It was glorious. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is so nice. So nice. So, yeah, he spoils, he spoils the ladies in his life. He's one of these guys that is as nice to his mom as can be. And um, same goes for his mother-in-law. It was so funny. I went yesterday to my son-in-law that's the optometrist went in to figure out what was going on with my eyes and <clears throat> he's got a new receptionist that's he's a guy and he said oh you're the mother-in-law <laughs> I said guilty I am I'm the lucky girl <laughs> so these as you can see need to be decorated but they're all ready to start life as a journal card. So I'm definitely going to sew around those two. And, and then we'll just put some sort of a focal point on them. And, or a collage or something and they'll be done. Okay, what do you like? See, those bags can be written on. So that's awesome. I'm going to do half inch on this. And it's perfect background to have like a little book page and then a little collage on it. So that'll be great. This one, it's going to be interesting. I just don't know if any of my projects are going to have those colors, but that's all right. We'll make it anyway and see. Hmm. I don't know. I think you could write on that. I think so. Or we'll decide that we want to decorate this side. I don't know. Can always put a little piece of coffee dyed paper on it later. This one definitely needs coffee dyed paper. Okay, let's get another piece here and just pop that on there. Because there's no place to write on this one. Okay. Well, I'm feeling happy with that stack. Yeah. Ready for a new glue page, apparently. Okay. So, just pop that on there. It says, a joyous Christmas right there. So... nice all right and we've got a pile of bases made okay so i think i'll just do i'm just gonna do a quarter inch on this one Okay, so there is that one. All right, how are we doing time-wise? We have got a little less than 20 minutes. What do I think on these? This one. I almost feel like these could be in collage or something. I, di I just don't like how Christmas is cut off of there. I'm going to put those back in my scraps. We'll make a tag out of that one. And I think I'll just go, well, let's put it on some coffee dye. Let's see. One of these strips. Yeah. Okay, we're done with you. Um, 
then I want to kind of look and see if there's some fun stuff for collage. I don't know. I might have collaged it all at the end of this season last year. That feels like something I would have done. I've got some sewing to do, don't I, around these pieces? That's okay. That's that's a fun project. Okay. Okay. So, again, I think I'm going to round those edges a little bit. Like that. And there's a fun little journal card taggy sort of thing. So yeah, we've got quite a stack that we made. And whoops. And so now let's check out the collage situation. I'm going to put that up, get rid of this. Okay. I just don't know what we've got. There are some papers in here, though. So let's pull these out. Just kind of put them on top and see what all we have. Just bits and pieces all over the place. Okay, we're going to do some collaging for the last little bit. And I have this medicare thing here that it has rather thin pages yeah they're rather thin but perfect to be collaged on a little piece wants to come up can't have that okay i'm going to get a new glue stick i'll use the rest of that up off camera Okay, so let's see. What do we have? <laughs> I am I am just going to go for it here. I'm kind of thinking there's a lot of little pieces here. What if I did one of those little um, things that I can take it out of here and then we can do mixed media on it and make some clusters? You know, sounds like fun to me. Okay. So, yeah, there's lots of little pieces here. I don't know if I need you. Okay, get myself situated. See, like, there's lots of teeny-weeny little pieces like this. So, um... Yeah, just lots of bits, lots of bits. Let's see if we can find something for the other corner. How about that? That is, you know, very specific colors. Mm. Grab out my ruler here. Give this a tear. These are from Vintage Studio 717. This one, this one and this one, I think. Okay, I'm gonna do this one kind of in half. And I'm gonna do this one in half again. I really liked doing the mixed media clusters with really small pieces. Um, I liked how they turned out better than when I used bigger pieces. So, yeah. Let's just cut a couple strips here. And we'll do those on the corners. So, I've just been the film and... 
filming girl today. This is video number three. I got one more to do. Let's see. This is Saturday. So, oh, I know what we're doing tomorrow. Yes. I told Mike, I said, I'm just going to stay in my room until I feel comfortable that I have enough videos to cover while we're gone this week. <clears throat> Next week is much more much more sane. It's not as cray-cray as it's been this week. Okay, what do we, what do we have? What do we have? Um, oh, this is a fun little, fun little piece. A little bit of trim. This is in one of my digital kits, this one. Um, let's just go over here. So, yeah, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, we have this piece that looked like, see, this looks like it could be t torn into all sorts of fun little bits. So, I'm going to go, whoops, go this way. that off there and here don't know just gonna go for it Santa. I've got my two granddaughters in Bozeman taken care of for Christmas, but that's it so far. As far as I do like to do my shopping early just because I feel like the um, selection is better and that kind of stuff, but I haven't done any other than that. Let's see, put that there. Takes a little longer to do all the bitty bitty pieces, but I sure think it ends up looking cute. Okay. Gonna need a new glue page here soon. Let's put that smack in the middle because it's similar to the others. Okay, let's do these. Okay. It's, I feel like it gets a little harder to buy for the grandkids as they get to be teenagers, you know. They definitely have their own, you know, their own taste and their own what they like and what they don't like. Can't just go out and buy them a toy anymore. <laughs> They're too big. They're just big kids. Okay, I am going to put this on an edge. Like that. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Here's a good little piece. There's another one of those. That strip can be torn. This one's a little different yet, isn't it? I think what I'm going to do with this one is just tear the images out. That could be on the opposite side of one that needs writing space. Okay. Okay. Let me play with those a little bit. <clears throat>
If you haven't seen the mixed media cluster video, I think it's on a mixed media Monday, but um, if you, just like any other subject, to be honest, if you search Gail Augustinelli mixed media cluster, that any related videos will come up. And, um, you know, same is true of any subject. Gail Augustinelli book page pockets. Gail Augustinelli sewing and signature. Signature. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's that's the way to find stuff. It's just like that. I'm gonna put that down at the bottom. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. Goodness. I don't know. Hope I didn't catch cold. You always wonder when you're traveling if you're going to catch something. Although we had masks on, so we're probably good. Got that. Got this. Oh, here's some good. Here's some good red ones. Um, let me tear this into a better size. Or better shape, really. Okay, those are cute. Let's just do that one into pieces. Okay. <clears throat> I'm put that in the middle and work around it. I like to do that. It's like a jigsaw puzzle then, isn't it? So today's Scrappy Saturday. Oh yeah, so tomorrow. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do, but it's a surprise. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Don't, don't get too excited. It's just, ooh, look at this pretty one. That's pretty. Um, yeah, not too exciting, but at the same time, it's kind of fun to Oh, that is going to be fun to have as, to do as those little clusters, I think. Um, where do I want to put you now that I have you all sticky? So I can put that there and put that at the bottom. I'm excited to get going on the journals. I've kind of been playing with the uh, all the supplies, and now it's like, okay, time to get going. use this one. It's almost time to let you go. That one there. Doesn't matter. They're all going to get cut up into little, little tiny squares. So Okay, I want something different. What do I want? Don't want purple. Oh, 
There's a red one. Yeah, I've got a lot of green, I feel like. So, use a little bit of red. Ooh, those are pretty. Some greenery there. Red. Piece, just a little random piece. Okay, what's this piece? Ooh, that's lovely too. Okay, so these I want to tear in half. Make them smaller. And this one might not use that green just because I've got green everywhere. Okay, a couple more minutes. Just play around a little bit longer. Where do you want to live? <laughs> I'm just going to put you right there because I don't know what else to do with you. I like this flower a lot. That's pretty. And just something a little bit different, you know. Okay, put that there. This guy, kind of like right there. Him here. And this, I'm going to tear off this little bit. Put that there. We've used up a few scraps today. I feel happy about that. Let's see. I like that. Um, still more to go. And you know I'll be making more as I get going on the journals. Of course I will be making more. Ooh, that's so close. I kind of want to put that on once I've got other bits filled in. This is a pretty piece. It's time, isn't it? I'm sorry. I've been keeping you late today. I've just been having way too much fun. So... I'm going to call that a video just so you can get on with your day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a grateful day, a great Saturday, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.